and this is Scott with Clasis. What I'll be showing you today is how you can use different forms for the same SharePoint list. For example, let's say that you have a list like contacts like you see here in this demo and you want to be able to allow your users to enter multiple contacts at once before they have to click the save button. But yet when they go to edit one of those contacts you want to be able to display a form to show them just that one uh, contact record that they're going to be editing. So two different forms uh, producing two different pieces of functionality. How do you do that using Clasis app forms? Well, if you've watched a prior video called uh, Creating SharePoint List Forms Using Clasis App Forms, you'll know that it really is quite simple to create a custom form for your SharePoint list using Clasis. If you've been through that, you'll know that you simply go to the ribbon, the List tab, choose the Clasis App Forms button, and click Manage List Forms. Once you've got that form designed and laid out the way that you want, you simply save it and then choose the check in form button up here and then that pushes it back to your list for you. But now if you want to then use a second form for your list or a different form for different pieces of functionality, how is that done? All right, so let's go back to our list and I'm gonna show you that now. So in this case, instead of going to your designer through the ribbon like that, we're gonna be going to the designer through the administration panel, the admin panel of Clasis app forms. So to do that, we go to the site contents option for your uh, tenant or for your SharePoint site. And then you'll see Clasis, simply select that. And this launches the admin designer. Now, once you're in the admin designer, we need to find your actual list, the one that was already been customized. That will be under a list form folder here. And here's that contacts list. Now for this demonstration today, I've already created a second form, but you can see it's called contacts list add items. Now if we take a look at the design of that form, you'll see that I've gone ahead and added what's called a dynamic grid. This control allows you to be able to enter multiple line items at once before we have to click the save button and save those items all at one time. So now how do we use this new form for our new items in our list, but use the existing form we had when we want to edit an item? All right, so now what we do, once you have your second form designed the way that you want, what we need to do now is go back to the site and go back to the list. So let me click up here in the left to go back to the site. Now, once we're back to our list, we're gonna do the basic same thing. We're gonna to go to the ribbon and click on the list tab We'll go to Clasis App Forms, but this time we're going to choose App Form Settings. And what this allows you to do is choose which forms you want to use. So we know that for a new form, we don't want to use the default contacts list form, the one that we created previously. We want to say Manage App Form. We can again find our form here. Here's our contacts list, and we want to use this new one. So we'll choose Select on that, and then we'll leave the contacts list form for edit and for view. All right, so let's save that. And let's see if this works. So we'll click new item. And now the form that we're getting that launches is the one with our grid control and we can add multiple line items at once. So let's just add some uh, test data here. Add a second row so that you can see this works. Okay, so now I could keep adding as many of these contacts as I want, and now I can click Save. And now all of those are added to the list at one time. Now, if I need to edit one of these items, I'll go to the ellipses and choose Edit Item, and now you can see we are actually using the singular form to allow us to make a change here. And now we can save that back. And there's drive. So it really is that easy to use different forms for different pieces of functionality in your SharePoint list with Clasis app forms. It comes down to just creating the second form the way that you want with the functionality that you need and then going to the list, choosing Clasis app forms, and then choosing app form settings to be able to manage which list you use or which form that you used for a new edit and view. 
I hope that you found this video to be beneficial. We are going to be producing more of these types of videos in the coming weeks and months, so be sure to visit our site often for updates. You can find our videos at www.clasis.com slash pages slash viewdemo.aspx. If there is a how-to video that you would like to see that is not currently on our site, please let us know using the feedback email below, info at clasis.com, and we will do our best to create this for you. Again, I hope you found this to be of benefit, and thank you for using Clasis app forms.